What's going on guys? It's Zach. We're back with week four of my DUP style training and this is going to be the last week before I take a deload week and also the last training, the last full training week of 2016. Kind of crazy. Um, so, you know, last week, the average intensity, I think I mentioned in the video, the average intensity last week was around 79%. Uh, percent. This week, we're bumping it up to 82 Point six. Ooh, throwing the point six in there. Eighty-two point six percent this week. So, pretty significant um, increase in average intensity. Uh, and what I mean by that is, is basically the the average weight uh, of all of my main movements uh, falls around eighty-two um, percent. So, for example, we're starting out with pause squats on Monday here, and I'm hitting three thirty last week you saw me hit 315. So still hitting um, five sets of, of triples. And these, these were tough guys. Um, you know, they, uh, I, I remember turning around and, and talking to, um, talking to uh, Billy, I think it was, or, or Marques, and just being like, I don't know if I'm gonna get through all five of these sets. Um, but kind of as, as I progressed, um, they got slightly easier. Um, and you'll see that, you know, they kind of move slow, but you can, you're still able to grind it out. You know, you have, you, you got to stay tight. And one thing I want to talk about was, um, breathing and bracing for, for pause squats. So, you know, a lot of people that I see will breathe at the top of the squat. They'll take their breath in. Um, and before they're even, before they've even braced their core, they'll drop down, um, into the squat. And so, you know, you can see in these sets, I really make sure to breathe, take a, take a deep breath into my stomach and push out against my belt before I go down. I take, it takes like a second before I even start the movement. Um, and a lot of people just rush it and, and end up not being able to stay tight, especially when you're doing a pause squat, um, where you're down in the hole for one to two, you know, seconds extra that you wouldn't normally be down there for. So, uh, you know, it just, it's just going to help you stay tighter, um, and improve, improve your form. So, uh, like I said, these were, these were, um, these were pretty brutal, uh, on the starting out the week, uh, with these and, and on, you can kind of see, you know, the, the speed, um, on the way up is just, you know, pretty slow, but I, I, in, the form doesn't break down. Um, so that, that's really positive, really positive for me. Um, and, and four weeks of pause squats, uh, I think have, have really helped me to lock in, uh, my position at the bottom of the squat. So if you're having problems where you're, you know, leaning forward, coming forward, falling backwards, um, at the bottom, you gotta, you gotta give pause squats a try. So going from there to Tuesday and we had 400 for four singles. And honestly, I, I went into this kind of thinking that 400 was going to be, feel pretty heavy, um, and started, started warming up and, and got up to 400 and, and it felt really good. Um, every single one of these, you know, felt really locked in, um, and moved very well. Uh, so, and that's the heaviest. So last week, last week, I think I hit, um, 385 for four singles. Um, and, and, and those felt, those felt heavy. So that's why I wasn't really looking forward to coming in and hitting 400, uh, for four singles, but, uh, it moves really well. Um, and, uh, you know, deadlift, you know, deadlifts, deadlifts just been, just been going great, uh, lately. So, and right after deadlift on Tuesday, jumped on the, jumped on the bench and, uh, wasn't really feeling it. <laughs> was not really feeling it. I had six sets of four here uh, at 215. And the first two sets, two-ish sets, um, felt pretty good. And then I kind of, I think I took like an, a, a really long break in between uh, sets like two and three and uh, got back on the bench and, and just, you know, felt kind of out of the groove um, with it. So like out of sync. Um, but still finished all the sets, uh, still got the work in, um, you know, deadlifting or I mean, benching after your deadlift is, um, you know, it's tough cause you know, deadlift is a deadlift is one of the most, you know, stressful exercises that you can do, uh, you know, mentally, uh, and 
then and it's a full body exercise and then you jump on the bench and, and you would think that the bench is only you know a chest exercise but uh, you know you're using your using your legs to stabilize your core um, and your you know your core is you know stabilizing your your upper body on on that bench so uh, you know it's a full body it's a full body movement uh, when you're doing it you know powerlifting style um, but yeah like I said so these you know you can see that the speed is just slowing down uh, each and every set um, and I almost actually called I almost I almost skipped like the last set just because I was feeling a little tightness in the in the tricep again um, but just decided to uh, push through and, and bust it out so going from there to Thursday and hitting front squats at 270 um, man these these I was again I was not looking forward to these so last week I was hitting 265 uh, for sets of four and you know those were brutal and then again we're, we're bumping the weight up again this week and we're at 270 um, and you can see the kind of the speed you know the speed out of the hole um, wasn't great the thing with these is um, it's not my my legs don't feel fatigued when I do these it's my back man it's my upper back um, that just get super fatigued from uh from holding that bar up there uh so i'm hoping that these really you know i've been hitting i've been hitting a lot of upper back movements um specifically on back days as well so i'm thinking that you know some of the volume that i'm getting um from my back day uh you know is also contributing to you know my soreness when i come in and hit these on thursday um you know my, my back is pretty beat up at that point so you know, like I'm like I said, my legs are feeling very fresh uh, with these, but my but it's my upper body that's that's uh, it's letting me down. But uh, hitting hitting six no I'm sorry five sets five sets of four plus an AMRAP uh, here, and um, you know <laughs> it's uh, it's tough. I mean you're gonna see you see the speed you know on a few of these, and actually the the AMRAP moves the AMRAP moves pretty well um speed wise but man it just feels like you know it just feels like uh it moving it's moving so slow it feels like your form is breaking down so much more uh than it is but definitely you know you know the reason i'm incorporating um uh, uh front squats is not only for quad development but again because you know because i wanted to work on my upper back uh, a little bit and i also really wanted to work on maintaining an upright torso uh, in the back squat so hoping that you know the, the additional quad strength um, core strength and an upper back strength will kind of transfer over and help um, a little bit with the back squat uh, and if if you know if it doesn't if it doesn't do that at least I'll you know, at least I'll get some get some quad stimulation uh, out of it so that's gonna be the video guys the last full training week of 2016 in the books kind of crazy can't believe it but I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We hit 100 subscribers. Uh, that was the goal by the end of the year. So thank you, everyone. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like while you're down there. And I will see you guys in 2017. Peace.